In this video, we are going to provide you with an overview of the Bunsen burner and show you how to set it up for work in a microbiology lab. So the first thing when getting the Bunsen burner out of the boxes at the end of your bench is to check that the pilot light valve is in the vertical position like I'm showing you in the video now. Next, we want to look at the collar at the bottom of the Bunsen. This controls the amount of oxygen mixing with the gas source and consequently controls the intensity of the flame generated. This will be important when we're lighting the Bunsen in a second. Finally, we've got the hose. This connects the Bunsen burner to the gas taps. Before we light the Bunsen, it's important that you know how to operate the lighters we make available for you. These lighters use a wheel to provide a spark to the fuel source. To light, press down on the wheel with your thumb and slide your thumb off onto the switch, as I'm demonstrating to you now in the video. So let's get this Bunsen lit. Push the hose firmly onto the gas tap and turn on the flow of gas by lifting the gas tap and turning it counterclockwise. Then use your lighter to ignite the Bunsen. When we are ready to work, we need to engage the blue flame of the Bunsen. This is the hottest flame and forces the air surrounding the Bunsen to go up, preventing any environmental organisms from landing in your cultures. When you are finished working, switch back to the yellow or safety flame. And that's it. At the end of the practical class, don't forget to turn the gas tap off and pack the Bunsen away into the same box you retrieved it from. 